Hello, my name is Olivier and this is your wine rendezvous today. Wearing a nice suit, we're going to talk about the probably the most famous wine in the world, Champagne. Alors Champagne, what do you need to know about Champagne? First thing, to be called Champagne, well this wine has to come from this little region in France. Okay, Paris is here, otherwise you cannot call this Champagne. It's going to be called sparkling wine if you're in an English speaking country. Asti, Prosecco in Italy, Cava in Spain, Zecht in Germany, whatever, but Champagne is there only. Alors, how do you make champagne? To make champagne, it's a bit trickier wine. Huh? First, you need to make white wine. Alors, how do you do that? You use three grapes. Huh? Champagne is very much blended a wine. So one white grape and two dark grapes. This white grape is called Chardonnay, that you all know. And two dark grapes, one is called Pinot Noir, quite well known as well. And the other one is called Pinot Meunier. Okay, you press white grape juice. Fermentation, I mean the yeast will turn into a alcohol. Carbon dioxide is released in the process. There you have it, white wine. Now it's not champagne, yet. so what do you do next? Well, next, very easy, you're going to take your, your white wine and put it into a, a big thick bottle like this and you add a little mixture of sugar and yeast, okay? And when, then you just put a little metal cap on your bottle and you have it sit, uh, usually for two years in those very deep champagne cellars and you wait, okay? And during these two years, there's a slow motion chemical reaction, it's called the second fermentation, is going to happen. What does that mean? So sugar turns into alcohol again, boom! CO2 would like to be released, but since the bottle is closed, it's dissolved in the wine, hence the bubbles, hence the effervescence in your champagne. Okay? Alors, after two years, you're going to have some solid stuff and some solid uh, sediments that are going to be uh, um, sitting here at the bottom of your, of your bottle. So how do you get rid of this? Very easily, you're going to put it onto racks like this. Uh, when you think it's done, and every day for six to eight weeks, there's these people called the Riddlers that are going to come and <whistles> little whistling action. Noticed, uh, and they're they're just turning a little bit more, just so that the yeast slide slowly slide down to the neck of this bottle here. Okay, uh, now they're here. They're stuck. Uh, they're stuck against the cap. How do you get rid of them? Well, that's mostly automated. I say it's manual. It used to be manual, five percent automated. I uh, use those big machines that do this, do this instead of men. But these people, the riddlers, were, used to be the the highest salaries in all of the champagne houses. Huh? Uh, they used to do more than sixty thousand bottles a day. So really a uh, high yield. But now machines do this. And then anyway, our, our yeast are here. How do you get rid of them? You're just going to freeze the neck of the bottle here and you put in a super cold solution, uh, minus 22, minus 28 Celsius. So really cold. That creates a nice cube here. Okay? And then to get rid of it, you just bring the bottle back upwards. And with this difference in pressure, the cap is going to pop. Boom. Along with the ice cube which is attached to it and the dead yeast that are, uh, that are stuck inside the ice cube. Okay? Uh, you lost a bit of wine, so of course you add a bit of wine to make it just 75 centiliters. A bit of sugar as well. You put your cork. Put your little leash to hold the pressure because the pressure inside a bottle of champagne is really big. It's approximately nine times the pressure inside a, a car tire, so that's why it's pretty dangerous with a cork. Anyway, you clean up your, your bottle, put a nice label, and there you have it champagne. Okay? Cheers! A bientôt, and we look forward to seeing you very soon on winerendezvous.com. Cheers!